listen and respond listen to the story of the enchanting flute and respond to the questions given in the response sheet the enchanting flute one day roger was walking to school through the park that had a beautiful fountain positioned right in the center as he passed the fountain he remembered that as a little boy his mummy always told him to throw a coin into the fountain close his eyes and make a wish lost in thought roger suddenly stumbled over a rubbish bin and while getting up he noticed something unusual lying on the heap of rubbish he went over to take a closer look and found it was a picture in a wooden frame the picture showed a man wearing a long dark coat playing a flute sitting on the grass listening to the man were some children they appeared to be on the top of a hill roger felt there was something special about the picture so he took it out of the rubbish bin wrapped it up in paper and put it in his school bag after school roger went home he took the picture out of his bag and put it on the bed then he started thinking about the history homework his teacher had given him suddenly roger heard the sound of a flute playing in the distance it was very strange because his door and windows were closed the sound gradually grew louder then roger noticed the picture the people were moving the man was playing the flute and the children were gently swaying as they listened soon they made their way across the hill top to a little wooden cottage inside the house the man gave the children different jobs to do roger wondered why the children worked so hard for the man roger decided that he would talk to freddy and ask him to let the children go home when roger questioned freddy he told him that he was an orphan and had no friends or family then one day he found the flute under a tree he had never played one before but he found he could play beautiful music soon he discovered that whenever he played near children they followed him freddy continued saying The children are my friends and family. I look after them and they look after me. They're happy here. Every day we play together on the hill top and every day I play my beautiful music for them. Haven't you ever thought they miss their mummies and daddies? asked Roger. Maybe said Freddy but I can't let them go I can't be all alone again Haven't you ever tried to find a wife asked Roger Freddy said that he had not and he was too shy even to speak to girls Roger remembered the fountain in the park Why don't you just close your eyes and wish for a wife he suggested no don't be silly said freddy wishes don't come true roger called all the children to the garden freddy stood by the door watching right said roger if you want to go home all you have to do is close your eyes and wish for it warm the sky the children closed their eyes freddy laughed but one by one the children started to disappear as they found themselves back with their mummies and daddies freddy stopped laughing and started playing his flute louder and louder 
and faster and faster he played but still the children disappeared until only he and Roger were left Freddy had tears in his eyes now why don't you try wishing for a wife you can have your own children Roger suggested Freddy closed his eyes and wished all of a sudden a figure of a young lady appeared in the distance walking towards them there you are said Roger and now it's time for me to go Roger closed his eyes and wished himself back to his room his mother was calling him downstairs for tea Roger took another look at the picture it still showed a man wearing a long dark coat playing a flute but now there were no children instead a young lady in a long green dress was lying on the grass listening to him and they were smiling at each other <laughs>